If you're looking for 25 super easy, super budget friendly DIY hacks, this episode is for you. I'm Shannon from Skip to My Life, and if you love to live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget, I am here for you. Several months ago, I was lucky enough to find an old chandelier being discarded on trash day, and I snapped it up knowing that I would be able to transform it. If you don't have an old chandelier, check out the Habitat for Humanity Restore or your local thrift store. I'm simply attaching these chandelier crystals to a small rose gold Christmas tree I purchased from Walmart, and this could not be any easier. I'm not even using hooks or wire. I'm just bending those branches back, but look at this gorgeous impact. The trend in holiday decor this year is simple and classic, and this little hack really fits the bill. Well, I wanted to place some wax burning candles near our large screen TV, but I was really afraid that that fire would cause a hazard. So here is my simple solution for you. Simply burn down some of the wax in those candles and pour that wet wax out into a jar and then you'll have an indentation. Now burn it until it gets to the level of these votives. I purchased these three for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. And from a distance, they look like really expensive high-end candles. And they are so easy to make and much safer. As you're putting up your fall decor and taking out your holiday decor, don't forget to have a bin that you can take over to a donation site. When you see everything sitting on that curb, I promise you it will make your spending much less. Well, advent calendars are a great idea this time of year, but they can be really expensive and they can also be kind of complicated where we have to go every day and do a different task. I am gonna show you how to make a really simple and free advent calendar just using any kind of plate that you have in your home. You'll simply want to write or place stickers that say days until Christmas around the edge of that plate. Then you can take a dry erase marker and write the daily countdown. I thought this would be really fun to do with kids or grandkids and try to make those numbers resemble things like a Santa face or reindeer or all kinds of themed ideas. Most of us have Christmas decor that has seen better days and I'm going to show you an idea to revive items you already have. Take a metallic color, I'm using silver, and spray paint those items in that solid metallic. Next, you'll want to take some ornaments in the same color and just glue gun them to that tree or other item. Next, add a few lights and voila, you have a whole new classic looking decor piece. Instead of buying really expensive holiday scented soap dispensers, just make your own really simply by removing labels from existing soap containers and then attach an ornament or even a vinyl cling to the outside. You can make these in any theme you desire and they also make wonderful hostess gifts for the holidays. You can use this super simple decor hack any time of year to elevate items on your bookshelves. Start by flipping around the dust jacket from the pattern to the solid side. This creates a neutral lift and level for many different objects on your bookshelves. If you ever used to help your kids cover their textbooks with paper, you will know the next hack I'm going to show you. We are taking this lift and level idea up a notch and creating a holiday twist by covering these old books with wrapping paper, especially for Christmas. Simply cut the paper with about an inch and a half on either side and you'll create a little envelope that you can stick each end of that book in. And this creates a beautiful high-end looking dust jacket. You can use any wrapping paper you have or if you'd like, you could also get some specialty paper from the craft store. My favorite part about this little hack is that once the holidays are over, you can return your books to the regular dust jacket and just get rid of that paper.
If you're new to Skip to My Life, a great big welcome to you. Comment below and let me know how we found each other. Giant Jingle Bell decor is all the rage this year, and I am going to show you how to make this decorator statement for pennies. Purchase this set of four plastic bowls from Dollar Tree. Now, all four of these bowls cost just $1.25. You'll want to glue two of the bowls together to make a sphere. Now, this is a little bit tricky because you're going to have to line up those edges just right. So you may want to practice before you actually get your glue. You can leave the bowls red if you love that color, or you can spray paint them any color you like. And for the next step, we'll need some black washi tape. I purchased mine at Hobby Lobby. Measure and attach that black washi tape in a crisscross pattern over the bowls. If you've been with me at Skip to My Life for a while, you know that my husband and I downsized from a six-bedroom McMansion to a tiny three-bedroom love cottage once our kids were grown and flown. We are looking so forward to Christmas this year because both of our adult kids are coming home. Comment below and let me know how you will be spending Christmas this year. I cut four black circles from vinyl and glue gunned them at the end of each piece of washi tape. Lastly, I securely glued a clear shower curtain ring to the top of each bell so that I can hang them. Comment below and let me know if you have some old tired globes from Christmas's past around your house. We're going to be reviving those with a simple coat of spray paint. Now, I chose silver and that's my theme this year in my decor. That's another little pro tip. If you pick one or two colors and stick with those, it really brings your decor up a notch. Then I'm simply gluing three of these together in a triangle. And now I'm adding some scatter that I purchased from Dollar Tree. This simple hack will make it easy for you to make bowls of ornaments that look like they're overflowing. It's a great way also to make sure that these globes aren't rolling around all over the place. And you can always disassemble this little project and use them in other places around your house. If you love footed trays to display food on, like I do, this next idea is for you. Simply take three footed trays in three different sizes and add those ornaments around the sides. This is especially great idea for the tops of cabinets and spaces that you need to fill with a vertical object. I completed this look with two of the acrylic deer from Dollar Tree. Now one of the deer, the antlers just snapped off last year, so I decided that it was going to become a doe. So we now have a buck and a doe, kind of by a happy little accident. Comment below and let me know if you love to send and receive Christmas cards. Well, so many of them are a work of art unto themselves, and so why not frame them? I'm using a 4x6 frame from Dollar Tree, and sometimes you will have to cut those cards to fit perfectly inside. And then to make it a 3D element, I am adding some of those plastic snowflakes, and I love the way this turned out. Our two long-haired dachshunds, Bella and Franklin, wanted to shout out to your fur babies and also remind you, do not neglect your exercise just because this time of year gets more hectic. You'll feel so much better in spirit and in body. I just wanted to stop for a second while we're on our walk and you're probably gonna hear the neighborhood dogs barking at me. But I wanted to encourage you with another hack that is not DIY related. It's something that we're not gonna make or teach, but it's just to try and stay home more, to try and go out less in your car and do less errands. Now, let me explain why I'm telling you this. I find that at this time of year, it's my first impulse. If I can't find something I think I need for a rest recipe or decor to run to my car and run to the store and get it right away. But I have found that more often than not, I end up picking up things I wasn't budgeting for. I end up spending a lot of time that I didn't want to. And in the end, I become overwhelmed. So instead of doing that, I'm trying this year to see if what I think I need, I really need. And if I do, if I can use something I already have in my house and substitute for that. So try this little hack with me and tell me what you think in the comments below. This next hack is a great gift idea for those last minute gifts and it only costs about five dollars. You'll just want a little gift box. I got mine at Dollar Tree, some tissue paper, some shish kebab sticks, and a bag of bite-sized candies. 
The trick here is to glue a piece of foam in the bottom of that box and camouflage it with the tissue paper. Next, you'll simply glue those shish kebab sticks to each of those bite-sized candies and place them in the foam like a bouquet. Love to make up a few of these and have them at my house for unexpected visitors and gifts you love to make and give away baked goods, here is a brand new way to package them that everyone will love. I'm showing you using this gingerbread cookie mix from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree also sells large packages of paper sacks. You'll just want to crease it at the top and this is going to become the roof line of our gingerbread house package. Next, you'll simply decorate that bag to look like any kind of gingerbread house that you like. You can make multiples of these and create an entire gingerbread village. To close the bag, I am adding a tiny clothespin as a chimney. You can put in box mixes and cookie cutters. You can make your own treats or simply buy some treats and dress them up in these adorable bags. Rather than buying all kinds of different holiday scented candles, stick with one signature scent. I love this fall farmhouse from Walmart and I will link it below. This next idea is from the YouTube channel Designed to the Nines. I love her ideas and one of them was buying this Bengal spice flavored tea from Celestial Seasonings and just using it as a simmer pot. And the added benefit is you can drink that tea once you're finished. If you prefer to have a really beautiful simmer pot, here are some other ideas. One of the most economical ways to make your home smell incredible for the holidays is to use a simmer pot. Now there are all kinds of complicated recipes for simmer pots out there. I'm gonna show you just three ingredients you probably already have at your home that you can use to make an incredible simmer pot. The first category is going to be citrus. Now this could be an orange sliced up into decorative slices. It could be a mandarin orange just with little orange segments. It could be a lemon or a lime, whatever citrus odors that you love in your home. For the second category, you will want something that is a spicy scent. Now this could be a fresh ingredient like fresh ginger root. It could be something you already have in your spice cabinet like ground cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice, or it could be something like cinnamon sticks that you buy at the market. For the third category, I recommend either one or both of the items I'm gonna show you next. The first is fresh cranberries. Now, these are one of the only items whose price has actually decreased this year at the grocery store. And then the second ingredient is fresh rosemary. Now, this can be costly, and if you can't find it, find it where it's not in your budget, go ahead and use the one you have in your spice cabinet. Once you've added these ingredients to your stock pot, simply fill it with water, bring it to a boil, then turn it down to a simmer. Now make sure that you keep checking it and filling it with water. For some over the top and super simple outdoor holiday decor, I'm gonna teach you how to make a holiday archway to frame your door. Now this is just using four pool noodles from Dollar Tree. I have made these PVC pipe stakes, which I use for many different holidays, but all I'm doing is putting two of the green noodles on the base and two at the top and then joining them with duct tape. The arch secure, you'll simply make tabs out of duct tape and push pin them to the side of your house. And then it's up to you. You can add whatever decor pleases you. Now in our climate, I always cut back my bushes before it gets really cold. And this certain bush is my go-to for greenery at holiday time every year. This first idea just uses those bush cuttings along with some twinkle lights and a few more decorative elements in this metal urn. If you don't have a bush like mine or it's too cold for you to cut it back, check out some live Christmas tree stands and they'll usually give you trimmings for free. Last year at this time we got our puppy Bella and I cannot believe when I looked at these pictures how big she's gotten in just a year doesn't get any easier or any more fun than this hack. Simply take three branches or sticks that you find in your yard and tie them together with a decorative bow. Now I use these to decorate my outdoor decorative bike and I put them in that front little basket, but you can use them anywhere. You can use them in uh, potted plants that you've cut back for the winter. You can use them beside your front door. They just add a really warm, cozy feeling. 
If you're looking for a hack to add height to any outdoor display, take three plastic containers, put a rock or a brick in each one and cover or wrap each of them in a plastic table cover. This idea looks the best if there are three concentric shapes and I did end up using a brick for the top shape just because it was the right size. So then you can decorate these with whatever kinds of bows or lights you like. Well, it's a time of year when we're all counting our blessings and I wanna tell every one of you without losing it here, how much I really appreciate every like, every click, every comment, every subscription, anything that maybe didn't mean much to you at the time meant the world to me this year and your support has just blown me away. So thank you to each and every one of you. Now we're gonna use some of that greenery again and make a simple wreath. Now these wreaths can be so very expensive and once you see how to make it, you will never buy one again. You can purchase these metal circles either at Walmart or Dollar Tree, but honestly, you can make one out of a coat hanger or a piece of wire. And then you will simply need some floral wire and you're just going to wrap that greenery around all going in the same direction with the floral wire. Once you finish that, go back and trim off the ends of that greenery until it's the desired length. And then all that's needed is just to add a bow, some ornaments or any embellishment you like. And it looks like our wreath has a little squirrel admirer. If you live in a small space like we do, but you need extra storage for serveware this time of the year, consider hiding it in the lower part of a bookshelf that you can then cover with a chair or other piece of furniture. No one will be the wiser and you can get it out whenever you need to. Don't forget my friends, today is not the end of your story, so keep putting one foot in front of the other.